With the study complete, you can review the post-processing results. These include table results as well as plotted results in 3D and 2D. They also include electrical parameters such as polar plots. The results table includes parameters shown for each of the frequencies of operation. They are the antenna parameters, the far fields, the S matrix, the impedance and emittance, as well as the port results and the standing wave ratio. This data can also be exported to files such as Excel sheets or text. The post-processing data can also be published in a report. The report generator includes all of the pre-processing and post-processing information for publication. You can also uncheck certain results that you do not need, and then you can export the report in either HTML or Microsoft Word format. The plots include a 3D electric field plot, as well as a magnetic field intensity plot. You can change the definition of the plot, either by modifying the frequency of operation, or by setting the plot type, which includes either a continuous or a vector plot. The continuous plots can show you the magnitudes, whereas the vector plots can show you both the magnitude and the direction. Each plot type has certain modifications that are possible. In vector plot options, you can change the shape of the arrows, and you can change the density and the size of the vectors. The vector plot can show you the pain points of a design. Vector plots are useful to see values inside the horn, as opposed to just from the outside. Another way to do this is with section clipping. In section clipping, you can apply a plane, which can divide the plot and show it to you from the inside. You can drag the section plane, or you can change its position by entering it numerically. You can also rotate it by setting an angle around an axis. Apart from section clipping, you can view a field using the ISO lines as well as the ISO surfaces. In ISO clipping, you can view fields inside not by position but by magnitude. And you can view everything from the inside using a mesh viewer. This mesh viewer is similar to the one used in the 3D mesh plotting. The electrical parameters plot are an alternative view of tabled results and far field plots. A polar chart, for example, can be used to display the gain and the directivity of an antenna. By selecting the parameter to be plotted, the frequency of operation, and the angle, in this case phi, you can generate a plot of the directivity. You can also use phi as the constant and plot according to theta. The polar plot, like a rectangular 2D plot, can be dragged using a marker. It can also be viewed in a it can also be viewed numerically in a list view. When the study is complete, you can clone it or create a new study. In a clone study, you can make slight alterations to the preprocessing inputs. This includes modifications to the materials, the loads and restraints, or even changing the mesh. You can also perform a batch run for all of the studies in a list by selecting Run All Studies. For more information on HFWorks and our other products, you can visit our website.